Hello guys, this is Just One Guy and today we're doing a uh, Raycast shooting. That's just a fun little tutorial. Hold on. Let me set everything back up. Now, I created this little gun and it shoots these bullets. Now the thing about these bullets are they're very accurate. You can, If I were to put a crosshairs in the middle of the screen, which I will in later tutorials, it would fire to that crosshairs every single time. And just to show you how accurate the uh, bullets are, let me set up the seam view in a, a little bit. I'm going to hit that little point right here on the ladder. And I'll hit it every single time because of the way uh, this gun fires. It fires by using a raycast. And the raycast comes from the camera straight to the, the point. Set up the scene a little bit. And see? You can't miss, it fires every single time. Now the bullets are traveling a little slow, but you can speed that up in a bullet controller. But the important thing is, it hits its point every single time. Now even if the ray cast weren't to uh, hit a, a point, the gun is still gonna fire, it's just set up that way. But what I've done is, since we're using ray cast firing, which is the most accurate, hold on a little bit I've done a little cheat here and if I click here uh, hold on. I don't think you can see it let me uh, go over here wow you really can't see it <laughs> okay I put colliders around everything now this is the way I do it just because it's more accurate this way and no matter what you'll get a target so to always use the ray cast firing method because if you use the straightforward firing method, which is uh, programmed to do anyway, if it can't find a target, it'll uh, it'll fire forward, but it'll be less accurate. And the raycast uh, method is really accurate. Okay, now let's go into the scripts. Now the first script we have is the shooting script, and the first thing is the firing point. This is a uh, empty game object in front of the uh, the gun. And it's, its purpose is, is to be the firing point for the bullet. This is the actual bullet game object. Well, I put a transform, but it's an actual game object. And then this is the, the target point. This is the point which the bullet has to hit. Now, right here is the, the actual beam, the raycast beam. And when you're using a, a beam from the camera, you have to use the viewpoint to uh, ray beam. And that creates a beam from the camera to any point in the world that you want to hit and then this is the hit and this fires the ray cast for infinite range now it's important to note that the while it'll aim at infinite range the actual bullet won't travel infinite range unless you set it to in a bullet controller we have an actual weapon range so you can control how far the bullet can go now our next thing is the target point and this is the beam telling the tar i mean telling this script where's the target point and then you, we have a, a debug to draw the beam in the scene view just so you can check it out if you want to uh, do some testing or something. Now, I set it up to fire with the, uh, the mouse button, but you can set it up to fire with something else if you want to, like the, spa uh, the space uh, key. But the first person controller uses the space key to jump, so I just use the mouse key to shoot. And this is the gunshot, it, it creates the bullet, and then it fires it, and then this right here, tells the bullet controller where's the target to aim at and the next script we have is the uh, bullet controller now this is just the point which uh, is the target of the bullet and this is the switch sound that the bullets gonna make when it's going past somebody we're not doing that in this tutorial but in later tutorials we will need this to be right here next is the bullet speed this is the bullet speed to use when you have a, uh, a target and then this is this bullet speed too is the backup bullet speed for when you don't have a target and it just needs to fire forward now most of the 99 probably 100 percent of the time it'll use this method if you set it up the way i did but just in case of emergency it'll use this method if it can't fire a target next is the weapon range and it's just the weapons range before the bullet destroys itself and the start function you can see where i call the destroy function and the weapon range is the timeout in the update function, we have the uh, what is this? Oh, the first method of firing the bullet, just in case you don't have a target, it just translates the bullet forward uh, until the bullet destroys itself. This is kind of inaccurate, but it, it's just an emergency, just in case uh, it has no target at all. 
and then you have the actual firing the bullet the move towards method this will move the bullet towards this point no matter what until the bullet destroys itself or hits something and it's controlled by oh sorry I got it backwards this one is controlled by bullet speed 2 and this one is controlled by bullet speed 1 that should really be turned around matter of fact I'll change it right now oh damn I changed it in the wrong place there we go and this should be controlled by bullet speed 2 nah that would mess up the uh, the what's I mean that would mess up the uh, the way I set it up but you get what I'm saying. This one's uh, controlled by bullet speed two, and this one's controlled by bullet speed one. Okay, now in the uh, in the actual t uh, scene, I made a little gun, and this is my model of the gun. Now it doesn't matter which model you're using. The only important thing is this model has to be connected to the main camera, not the actual first-person controller, the main camera itself. Now in this gun the gun it needs the firing point this is just an empty game object in front of the gun so the bullet can come out of and that's all you need with the gun model it, no matter what model you use even if you create your own gun you need that firing point next is the uh, the shooting script I mean hold on the yeah the shooting script the shooting script is connected to the camera itself now the shooting script takes a prefab which is the bullet and then it takes the firing point which is that little firing point I just went over now you'll have to create a little bullet prefab mine is just a square block see uh, mine is just a little square block it could be whatever model uh, you want to use but it needs to have this bullet controller on it and it needs to be a prefab and you just uh, if you don't know how to create a prefab you just create the game object and put this uh, script on it and pull it into the uh, the project uh, yes yeah, the project uh, window now this bullet controller the bullet speed 2 controls the the regular speed that it comes out at and the bullet speed 1 controls the backup speed where it fires straight forward just in case and the weapon range contra uh, controls how far the bullet will travel before it destroys itself and that's the end of the tutorial and if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you want to suggest a tutorial please suggest a tutorial in the comments down below thank you for watching